Now to the weather and the avalanche risk in the mountains. Glad to have you with us on this Friday. I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. The snowpack is heavy and deep and poses a risk to the backcountry activities. We're going to take a live look here at Snoqualmie Pass and you can see just how much snow there is. Moments ago, we learned that uh, the state is closing westbound I-90 for avalanche control work and vehicles are being stopped at milepost 52. That's the exit for the summit at Snoqualmie, although we are seeing some cars still headed there on the road. Dash cam video from our crews shows just how deep that snow is along the side of the road in that area. So if you're up there, be sure to play it safe. Take it easy. King 5's Michael Crow begins our coverage. He's live for us now at North Bend. And I know you just got off the pass trying to beat that closure. And it looks like there are a few more cars here. Uh, <laughs> it takes a little while, as we know, but you made it down there. Yeah, we did. We were hustling because, you know, avalanche mitigation sometimes where they close so that they can clear those areas that hang above I-90 can take a couple hours depending on the thing. So we got the heck out of Dodge because uh, we would like to not spend the night up at the pass. Uh, but certainly you can see why it's necessary. We drove through some bands of heavy snow on the way down in the last 20 minutes. So there is another system on the way and you saw those huge mounds, you know, light pole height. Uh, of snow that's been mounded up from people plowing out. So we've been saying this a lot lately, right? But with all of these systems coming through, the avalanche danger is high. And uh, that's, of course, thanks to these huge snow totals, including the ones at Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass. Now take a look at this. To address that danger in the backcountry, we met up with Scott Waller today. He started this project about a decade ago, putting up these are you beeping signs right before folks enter avalanche terrain. They're a reminder to check snow conditions for safety and also an electronic check that your avalanche beacon is working. That's the way rescuers would find someone if buried. So today he was putting up one of those beacon test points and signs on the PCT, <coughs> excuse me, at the pass, uh, with this risk of avalanche, of course, being very high. I asked him about if he thinks this project has saved lives. That's the hope. <laughs> It's, that's the hope. It's hard to measure that or to actually quantify it, but um, I know I've sat around at trailheads putting these up uh, all over, and it's amazing how someone will show up, and they're a backcountry skier, and they forgot to turn it on. Yeah, it so, you know, just reminding some at the last moment. Sorry, there's kind of a loud truck there behind me. So the Northwest Avalanche Center says avalanche danger across virtually all of the Cascades is high right now. We did hike that sign a little bit back into the woods on some snowshoes. We'll have that for you coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Right now, live in North Bend, Michael Crow, King 5 News. Michael, thank you, and glad you are in North Bend right now. So as we've mentioned, Snoqualmie Pass is in the process of closing. Stevens Pass is also closed at this hour. And Re Rebecca, I know we talked last night with Craig about expecting that snow last night and into today, and he said it was going to be a couple of feet. It looks like that's what they're getting. Yes, you'll be impressed when you see some of the snow totals I've got. You could see the snow. You may not necessarily hear the snow unless you hear someone say, oh my goodness, have you seen where it is on the stick? It's impressive when we look just even outside at our current tower cams, Crystal Mountain here at the gondola cam. Folks, stop getting off the lift, but this has been packed all day with snowboarders and skiers, but I've just been noticing the wind really picking up on this cam as it shakes a little bit and it started to drift the snow up against the uh, the, the bank of the uh, fence there. Looking at Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass here as the last folks try to get through before that closure really takes effect and clears everyone out. 36 hours snowfall totals we've got. Mount Baker, 13 inches, 22 inches at Stevens Pass, 15 inches at Snoqualmie Pass, Crystal about 12 inches total, and then White Pass, 13 inches of snow, and it's still coming down. Our winter storm warning continues till 10 o'clock tonight. The avalanche warning you could see is in the central cascades impacting Stevens Pass and Snoqualmie Pass and we're expecting to have an additional 12 to 18 inches that's that amount started early this morning and we're watching that pile up through 10 o'clock tonight now you can see on the Doppler radar we have two distinct convergence zones that have set up one that's directed itself coming out of the uh, Strait of Juan de Fuca and it starts to travel white right towards uh, Stevens Pass Highway 2 and then the secondary is right over Seattle and uh, hovering near I-90 and that's impacting your Snoqualmie Pass. That's where our snow is going to be coming down the hardest and that chance of a hail shower is coming in for Central Puget Sound. We'll talk more about this forecast and what the weekend holds coming up. Okay, Rebecca, thank you.